today I'm going to talk about something that, that I see pop up every once in a while on shaving boards and a lot of the new shavers don't have a clue about it. Some of the old shavers don't have a clue about it. And what I'm talking about is shimming a razor. And uh, there are a few of us that, that do it occasionally and there are some people that do it on a regular basis. A lot of people shim a very very mild razor that's a three-piece you can only do this with a with a a razor that has a, a cap and a base you can't do it on well I suppose you could do it on a TTO I've never tried it on a TTO uh, but essentially is just taking a, a razor blade and cutting off the sharp sides so that all you've got is that center piece and it becomes a shim. Now what's a shim? A shim is something that that you insert to raise up or tighten. It's kind of like a washer. A shim is like a washer but it's not a washer. And um, where I've recently run into the need to have a shim is with the Maggard MR8 handle when I tried to put it on my razor rock jaws head. I've got a Balsamo blade in there and there's no way in the world you're gonna pick this up on camera but I'll give it a shot. When it's tightened down it shifts just a little bit. So the solution is to shim. Now in this particular situation I could shim this razor so that it was not affecting the blade gap. I could put the shim on top. I could put it on top of the blade here instead of on the bottom like is a normal shim which increases the blade gap. I like an aggressive razor so I'm going to put it on the bottom and all you have to do is just take, put your blade on and then put your shim on. Make sure it's lined up like that. And then put your base plate back on and tighten it up. You can put two. I've heard some people putting three. I wouldn't advise going over at the most three. But line that up snug it down and now it is in there nice and firm and straight and it's not going to wiggle around and that's shimming shimming you can increase the aggressiveness a lot of people have Gillette techs that are very very mild and then they, they put some shims in it and it makes it a much more aggressive shave and they enjoy their vintage razors that way but like I say, you can do that in a lot of situations. You want to put a different handle on a different razor and it doesn't quite tighten it up right, you can possibly use a shim. Today I'm going to do a brief shave just so I have a little bit more extra time to talk to you. Um, I'm finishing up trying to work on my sterling spice and I'm using my Frank Shaves 28 millimeter Pure Badger brush. I've already worked up my lather. Had a little bit of discussion on the boards about, oh, what's a good brush type? And I've personally been looking for a 24, 26 millimeter Badger knot and in, in, in not badger, a uh, boar knot in the faux badger, which is, is like a, a two banded uh, boar where they, they dye it. And uh, the golden nib used to carry them, but they don't have them right now. And I'm wanting to do a custom brush with Pav Brushworks. And uh, uh, I haven't been able to find a, a boar knot anywhere because I'm, I'm wanting that bore brush feel and latherability and uh, there's not very many alternatives 
Well, but the only alternative I have is to go to one of the lesser common liked brushes. Now, when I talk about that, everybody wants to jump when they're, they're thinking about, okay, what kind of brush do I want? What kind of knot do I want? Everybody wants to go to silver tip. All the various different grades of silver tip. And there's all the arguments of one's better than this and this and that. I have some silver tips. I like them. But overall, for someone who likes to use hard soaps, it is just easier to use a board brush with a hard soap. That kicked up aggressiveness of digging into the soap that the, the board bristles do just makes it easier to make a good lather. So what are the alternatives? Well, this pure badger brush was one of the very first brushes that I got from, and it was from Frank Shaves. It's a huge knot. It's got a little bit of scritch, not much. It's got good backbone, and it works lather very, very well. So if I can't find the bore knot that I want, in this custom brush I'm working on. Then Pure Badger. And I've been thinking about Black Badger. Um, the lesser soft quality Badger knots. And you don't see much about them on the boards. So I just very well may tell Scott Pavkovich to let's just go with a, a, a black badge or not and see how it goes if we can't find what I'm looking for in a bore. And that's, it, this is the classic problem and I've seen it more and more and more since many of the shaving forums on Facebook have gotten more popular. You know, several hundred, several thousand. When you get that number of people in any one place, talking about any one subject, there's no way in the world that everybody's going to see it. There's no way in the world that everybody understands it. And it comes down to there's a lot of people have a lot of questions that just never get answered. And there's a lot of solutions out there. that the veteran gets guys can provide. If the newer guys can ask it in a way that doesn't irritate the older guys on the forums. And that happens quite a bit. If some new guy has a question but asks it in a roundabout way and it causes all kinds of problems. And everybody says, oh, everybody's being unfriendly, they're picking on me. No, it's just that the, the, groups get, the groups are getting too big to be able to effectively communicate. So I decided to do a video to explain shimming a razor. If you got any questions about it, give me a holler. What I'm finding 
is is just because the the uh, forum uh, ads get buried so much. Uh, probably one of the best places to ask me is just straight on the video in YouTube, and I can can answer questions there. But you can do it in the forums if you remember a Facebook group I'm with. Uh, you can IM me do those types of things. So until next time, have some good shapes. Try and be happy, but definitely be safe. We'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.